Hello, this is Renee Esquivel, and you're watching my latest YouTube video on my channel, Technologist on the Go. Um, now, this uh, video is demonstrating a, a software uh, KVM, really more like a software KM, uh, using a wire, using one computer, be it Windows, Mac, Android, and sharing its keyboard and mouse across multiple computers. That lets you eliminate clutter in your in your lab in your personal lab or or if you're doing multiple systems at work uh, it will save time and and uh, make you more efficient using one keyboard and one mouse uh, where all you have to do is move the mouse uh, across or up or down as you need it and you'll watch it and you have full control over it and it's free um, so we'll get into it. Although I do want to note one caveat, the current version for Barrier, and that's the software that we're using for this, is 2.40. Please don't use it, it's got a glitch in it. And it will, it requires a uh, SSA key, which is fine, but it requires it if you don't, even if you don't need it. And it also won't let you create it, which makes the software useless. Um, I found that out the hard way and I just went to version 2.3.4 and that one works primo. So let's get into it and uh, I'll show you, walk you through the installation and uh, configuration, but it's it's bonehead, it's real easy. And that's what you want. You don't want to be fussing with stuff like that. You just want to be productive. Okay, and let's get into it. Okay, so uh, let's get the windows installed. Bring up your browser and um, search on download barrier and uh, look for uh, releases debachi barrier github that's the one click on that and it'll bring up the current version which is right now 240 skip that we don't want it it's garbachi go ahead and go to version 2.34 that's the one that works and uh, scroll down until you see the DMG and the EXE, we're going to do the Windows one first, so click on it. Your browser will likely throw a fit because it's uh, not the regularly downloaded version. That's okay. Tell it to keep it. And then it's going to do essentially an are you sure, so keep it anyway. And there, it downloads. And then open it up. And uh, let's uh, go through the defaults, you know, accept the agreement, da, da, da. Uh, next. Yes. And uh, if you want the shortcut, click on that, no big deal, either way. Install. And uh, like I said, I had a prior. I, I, I'm walking through the installation again, but I had it working before. Okay, um, now mine has the SSL keys created from <clears throat> prior, uh, the prior installation, so I'm not going to be prompted about the creation of them once Barrier launches, but you will be. That's a good thing. That's what you want to see. And answer yes, of course. Because uh, initially when you launch Barrier, you won't see the finger SSL fingerprint there. You'll see that after you're prompted to create it, and all it is is saying yes. Like, okay, now go into configure servers. You can uh, see that you got your original machine, and just gonna slide that a little over. Um, okay, and so <clears throat> it's ready. At this point, we're ready to go right into the Mac install, okay? So let's do that. Okay, so in your browser, type download barrier. And go to releases Debachi GitHub and click on it. And again, it comes up to that ill-fated release. Skip it and go down to version 234 and click on it. And scroll down and this time pick DMG for your Mac. And it's gonna download it. And once it's downloaded, uh, click on it it'll open it up um, you need to open up your applications folder because you'll drag and drop for the install and we go to application 
notifications and we drag barrier in there and it's installed now you do have to um don't double click it it won't work initially doing that you have to um uh, double click to select open uh, you see i tried to double click it it doesn't work so go to open and I did this already, but yours is probably going to prompt you for your uh, uh, security and preferences. Just go ahead and authorize that. And you see it picked up the, the address, IP address of the <clears throat> uh, of the Windows server. Um, type in whatever. Now let's go ahead and see what the Mac's name is. Okay, that is the name there, screen name. Now I go over here to my... Uh, Windows PC that's I designated as a server and I want to drag an icon this is going to be telling it on which side of my Windows PC I'm going to have this Mac uh, operate now it doesn't know what operating system it is it just goes by the uh, identification of the IP address but here it is yeah. Okay, um, naming convention there for Apple MacBook, Churchon 1. And now that I have that uh, PC, it says on the right side of my windows, the cursor will, mouse and keyboard will follow. Okay, so here, you can see me on the trackpad here. Or actually, I can just use the mouse, the gaming mouse. But I, I move the mouse across. And you see it there, making the movements there. It now follows. I can go back to my browser. Uh, I can go ahead and um, open up a new tab. And what, using the keyboard of my Windows computer, I can now control the Mac. And I can go just go simple, just go to google.com and hit enter and bammo. So you see it is one keyboard, one mouse to roll them all. And I can have multiple systems. Okay. Using this method, you can also copy and paste. So let's say I want to copy that web page. <laughs> Simple, but just for an example, Apple, I do Command C to copy with my one keyboard. And let me scroll my mouse back here to the window side. I've opened up a new tab in my browser. And then uh, in Windows, it's Control V for paste. And there it is. Bamo. I can copy and paste between the Windows and the Mac. And once you have pasted from the Windows into the Mac, it's now in the Universal Clipboard so that I can actually go paste it into my iPad. Um, so it's kind of a, a, a two-step bridge, but you can copy. Well, once it's in the Universal Clipboard for Apple, it goes anywhere that goes. That's the iPhone, that's the iPad. And likewise, when it copies here, if you have the, um, the Windows Clipboard set up, then it will be copied from, you can copy from Windows to another Windows machine or to a, an Android phone. All that nice integration you can get, two-step wise, but you can get it here with uh, with Barrier. And there you have it. And so, and there you have it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, so, hope you like that, and please uh, give me a like and a subscribe on my channel, okay? And you'll get uh, more of these nice quality videos here. Um, so, there you have it, okay? See you again.